yes sir it's visible if yeah. you can put it on presentation mode, that will be great or else also it's fine if it is convenient for you to move the slides without the presentation mode please go ahead is it moving now perfect yes it is moving okay okay um I am Ajit Saragi, Mu Ajit Saragi, Mu Odisha Skill Development Authority or CTO. So, Ajira topic, Ajira discussion, which is typically what we are doing for Orissa, for all the districts of Orissa in terms of AI and Gen AI. So, in this topic, I'll just run through a couple of slides. After that one, I have kept some time for the question answer session. So, for Odi, uh, okay, let me just uh, you know, finish my presentation. After that, I can run through the uh, question answer session. What I have planned is next 10 minutes, I'll run through first Odisha Skill Development Authority Digital Talent Framework. How we are trying to do it for all sectors of, you know, um, all sectors of participants to build the skill. And second one, we'll uh, spend two minutes for the what is the future ready technology for Industry 5.0. Third, what is our objective, impact, and challenges? Fourth, some of the use cases on Gen AI we are starting now. We, are, we have already started a few months back. How Gen AI will help us externally or internally? Internally in the sense that how much we, we have developed three prompts. How it is going to help us help other participants that I will explain. And last but not the least, last two minutes we'll have a question and answer session. If our time permits, then we can extend it. Is that okay with all, all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. Please go ahead. Um, yeah. Uh, skill in Orissa, OSDA, Orissa Skill Development Authority, has started a drive called NUA Orissa. NUA is very synonym to the new. New is, uh, is, is a new kind of things, but it is internally what we have, uh, we are devising at Nutana, Unnata, and Avilasa. Uttana is the new, Unnata is developed, and Abhilasa is aspired kind of things where we are talking about different different sectors. Main concept of the whole uh, this NUA Odisha initiative is industry ready workforce. How can we generate more industry ready workforce aligning to the industry 5.0? That is what is our crux of the whole story. And then, you know, I just explained industry ready, industry 5.0. In a nutshell, three things: one is human-centric, sustainability, and waste-free, you know, resilient business. These are the three things we are trying to focus on. What are the challenges we are trying to address? So we ensure that ethical integration with the AI, a process driven with uh, you know maximum flexibility in the you know manufacturing process or any kind of process, trading and adaptability. These are the two things we are trying to address. Protect the sensitive data. This is the crux of the whole discussion. Also, I also heard everybody is talking about how to protect data. Data cannot go out of the uh, posting zone or data cannot go out of India. All these kind of things, how are we protecting it? Uh, what is the impact? Long term impact is to develop a um, you know, skilled resource with increase in the employment. Employability will increase, employment will be increased high quality of the job roles for the future ready career opportunities and growth in the marginal communities so we are catering to all kind of communities pvt areas sest and all kind of things we are trying to increase the opportunity for all of them what are uh, what kind of training we are giving short term trainings digital training self help trainings upskilling reskilling and cross skilling i'll explain all these three terms which is called upskilling and reskilling and cross skilling. Upskilling is a way where we are saying that earlier he was skilled with, uh, you know, a typically an uh, example of developer. Now he has to go for the higher skillings, like, you know, he has to do something on the NLP or Python or such certain things. We are giving the training on that one. Reskilling earlier. Okay. Uh, reskilling is. Typically, you know, he is getting reskilled once again, and then cross skilling is in a different domain. He is getting cross skilled once again. With this, what are the typical way of giving the digital training? I am just focusing here that what kind of digital training we are giving in the different parts of Odisha. One is 
typically uh, four different areas on the blockchain augmented reality and virtual reality ai powered iot and 5g our interesting part is artificial intelligence the basic build up we are giving the trainings all the all kind of things we are giving so our focus of this discussion is how we are giving training on the artificial intelligence and gen ai generative ai kind of things so if i go to the next slide our focus area is all new uh, technologies training and trainers and we have also created the um, different training institutes training centers throughout the orissa uh, currently we have got model uh, computer centers through different model computer centers we are trying to create training institutes as mm -hmm. well as we have got a uh, distance learning program from the coes we have created first coe from the delhi iit iit delhi is getting uh, is giving training to the around 1500 students as a as a part of our first initiative on the newest technologies so what we are targeting is this year we are trying to give training for one lakh students the students are typically from the technical group which is our bput OUTR, or vssut or any private engineering colleges or any auto, autonomous engineering colleges are part of our technical group apart from that one also we are covering 72 itis and 35 polytechnics all of them will be uh, those who are interested will be participating in our training programs other than that one we are now extending our uh, training program to higher education we have selected 30 higher education colleges the ba bsc diploma and we are giving similar kind of training to them idea is we have to train by um, you know the advanced courses like you know uh, artificial intelligence or iot or any kind of you know blockchain or you know they are we are kind of things will be trained for everybody so that it is easy when we are talking about uh, basic knowledge they should have they should they should talk about this ai and then typically the blockchain and then they are they are easily so what we are trying to do is we have engaged uh, delhi iit as our coe partner and we have also engaged coursera as uh, you know digital learning partners those who are offering typical courses in all the institutes i will cover all the all the later on but here uh, apart from the trading we have devised three different you know prompt three different prompts we are trying to design and trying to develop it first for the different queries like typically many aspirants many participants they ask for different questions that what kind of skills we are providing and who can participate when the program will start and whether he can participate or he can do that participation in the program or not for all this we have designed a prompt um, for the skill query prompt that's one second one is a recommendation engine based on his qualification based on his age based on his you know interest we have uh, we are we are now we are designing a recommendation engine which will give a, a kind of answer which will give a recommendation which will give a guidance that what kind of training he or she should take and that is based on the location from which district he is based on that one he will get a guidance that these are the courses are available on this uh, district or nearby a computer center or nearby training centers he can go or he can he or she can participate on that training center based on that one we are trying to do the third prompt which is the mobilization group mobilization in the sense that employer and um, uh, employer will get the requirement employer will get the selected candidates selected candidates through the third prompt automatically so these are the three things we are trying to uh, do it on our uh, gen ai uh, you know um, platform which we have started in the last two months three months with a slm i think we are discussing about a slm now small language model this slm we have uh, taken nlp with uh, microsoft uh, Fi 2 this is on the development bit very soon we are going to release that one so with this i think uh, i will um, open it for the questions that what we uh, what are the different questions based on that one we can i can answer and uh, typically that would be my uh, uh, you know feedback that what kind of things uh, what kind of interest we are getting is through this forum through this 
you know, uh, forum. I just wanted to spread the news that Odisha government has given lots of focus on giving the training, giving the employee, including the employee duty. So I'm open for the question now. Uh, upper one question, Pachet Bhandamita. Uh, 